What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're actually going to talk about how to create your first Amazon FBA listing. So you can actually create your uh, own listing on here um, without actually having the uh, monthly pro merchant account, which is $39.99 a month. But once you actually do your shipping plan and get your products over to Amazon FBA, make sure that you actually have the, uh, the, the pro uh, subscription because that's what you need to sell and have your products fulfilled by Amazon. So uh, the first thing that you wanna do is go over to catalog um, and then add products. I've already pulled up that page. And this is the part where a lot of people kinda get confused. Um, you guys aren't searching your product on here. You guys are actually creating your own listing. So when you get to this part, um, here, let me just go back for you guys. So when you actually get to this part, you're not searching for a product name. What this actually is, is hijacking. Um, well, in some cases it is because uh, people are claiming that they're selling the exact same product when they know that a product is private label and has its own logo on it. For example, um, if you were to type in a product name and then claim to sell um, you know, on this listing, uh, you'd be showing up like these guys, you know, parentheses and stuff. You'd be sellers claiming to be selling the exact same product. So that's something that we don't want to do. Uh, so what you want to do is create a completely new product listing, you know, your own brand, your own private labeling, and then pick a category. So let's say we want to actually sell a pet hair remover. So all we have to do, um, I know this part might be confusing too for some people, is when they pick the category. Um, what you guys got to realize is that um, Amazon has its own algorithm in order to pick uh, what category your product goes into once your product starts selling. So even though you don't get the exact category in the beginning, that is okay. Amazon will pick the best one for you when you um, start selling and start ranking for your own keywords. So uh, of course, for the pet hair remover, you know, don't be dumb. Don't actually uh, put a pet hair remover listing in, you know, home and kitchen or beauty and personal care. The best way that you can determine uh, what category you want to be in is look at your competition. When you run Jungle Scout uh, on the Chrome extension for the most broad keywords, see which uh, category that your product is selling the best in. And um, so, of course, in here it's pet supplies, dogs, grooming, and hair removal mitts and rollers. So, you just want to um, try and make it as close as possible when you create your listing to the uh, actual uh, seller ranking for the seller ranking that's lowest of course so pet supplies let's go ahead and scroll down here the pet supplies and then sometimes it might not show up like dogs and cats it's not showing up on here like we want it so of course you just pick the next best thing that you can you don't have to be exact because these aren't always going to be the exact ones that shows up on the listing so can even put in pet grooming supplies and then maybe go back here and look at it again pet hair removal mittens and rollers and as, as you can see we have something very similar to what we saw on the listing pet hair remover and select And then boom, that's exactly how you do your uh, initial first part to create your listing. Um, but like I said, once you start selling, once you start ranking for your keywords, Amazon will pick the exact categories for you. You don't have to worry about it. They're going to pick the categories that are um, you know best for you, for your listing and for your keywords. So don't worry about that too much. Just make sure you have the main category down and some of the uh, subcategories. Um, so of course, just come at it with logic. So the product ID, uh, so th what that is, is your guys' UPC codes. Now, what I did, I went on eBay, and I actually purchased UPC codes on there. Um, but the next time I actually do that, I don't think I'm going to purchase it off of eBay. Um, i definitely go to uh, ISBN.org, you know, make sure they're GS1. You, you don't want to be getting products or getting UPC codes that, um, you know, aren't real or aren't valid and then you wind up losing your listing or even your Amazon account but the ones that I got they were actually were um, good they were actually um, GS1 or whatever on eBay you just have to do your research but if you want to take it the most safe route just you know get it straight from the source go to uh, ISBN.org or wherever you have to go GS1 make sure they're you know valid so after you do all that um, I don't know I'm just gonna pick a 
and then you can go to a product name product name so pet hair roller and what I see a lot of people do is actually put their brand name first in their product name which I don't really understand why um, maybe that's to show that their product is private labeled but honestly I think that hurts with the keywords that you rank for so the, what you want is the first keyword that's part of your listing is to actually have the most broad keyword the most um, relevant or a monthly search volume keyword that you can have for your listing so uh, let's say pet hair roller we're not going to go into depth too much in this video I'm just trying to do the basics for you guys so you have your listing set up and then from there we can do a video on the keyword research etc so from the brand name you guys can actually pick anything that you want it really doesn't matter but of course pick something that seems legit something that seems you know maybe catchy or creative so let's say pet hair roller um, I don't know, pet products united. It doesn't have to be like too crazy or too specific. Just come up with a name, so make it seem official, like an actual company or brand and manufacturer. Um, just put the actual, uh, just put the actual um, name or company uh, that you create your Amazon seller account uh, with. So mine was j.m.s. Now guys, you don't actually need a business registered in order to do Amazon FBA. Of course, that would be a good thing just in case you know you run into some legal trouble down um, you know in the future. But so from here, variations. Let's say you had different colors for your product. This is where you want to do that. Um, I haven't done any variations for my products in the past or for my, my past product or the product that I'm doing now, so you don't have to really worry about that too much. Um, then your offer course when you go in here uh, just look at what other people are, are um, putting their products for so let's say pet hair rollers. so when you go in here and then you of course you bring up jungle scout now guys don't solely base your price off of what other people are pricing theirs as of course you can you know um, have a sort of a range of where you should be putting your price at but don't like if somebody's selling for uh you know ten dollars here or you know eight dollars here don't think you'd be like oh i gotta make the lowest price don't do that because your amazon fba fees are gonna be anywhere from five dollars all the way to like six or seven dollars and you won't be making any profit so a lot of times people associate the price with the amount of quality um, and you know the value that you give them uh, the customers do uh, at least so you know don't solely just put your price at what the market actually looks like so looking at this right now we have anything from eight dollars all the way up to twenty five dollars or even thirty dollars close right here so no I'd say you know make it around nineteen ninety nine somewhere around there um, and of course, like I said in the previous video, if you want to put more value on your listing, add an ebook, add like an extra um, uh, thing that you can throw in there in order to uh, for your value to go up. And we can actually go in here. I'll sh show you guys uh, a tactic that I used um, on the product that I'm doing now. What you can do is click on a listing, and then scroll all the way down, and then see what is often bought, with, frequently bought together. So. I think these are pet hair rollers too. Um, I forget which type these are, but if you go over there and then you look at, you know, you scroll down, see what other things people are buying with this product. If you're able to bundle that together and someone sees your listing and you're able to price it, maybe a little bit more than this, maybe like $24.99 or even, uh, you know, close to $30, someone would be like, oh, there's a bundle in here. So I can just buy this instead of actually going to buy, um, you know, these two separately and maybe even for a cheaper price. So in that case, you're giving more value to some to somebody. So that's another way you can actually uh, get someone to buy your listing instead of someone else's in order to differentiate your product on the marketplace. So let's just say when we want to go for um, $21.99, and that's I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, of course, you have to do more product research on what exactly you want to uh, set your price as, depending on whether you want to do bundles, if you're doing ebooks, etc. Condition, of course, completely new. Uh, 
and then I want Amazon to ship and provide customer service. Then, of course, in order to uh, have your this is actual requirement, you do have to have UPC codes and stuff. So make sure you get your uh, UPC codes on there. Then images you can have anywhere from I believe it's eight or nine images. So make sure your your images are actually a thousand by a thousand at least, so you're able to zoom in. A lot of times, what these people don't consider. Um, I know the actual market is uh, slowing down when it comes to people actually using desktop but if you use zoomable pictures on here you're going to be able to you know get a bunch of sales on the mobile and then the desktop version because people are going to be able to zoom in on your images you know have high quality on there able to see every detail of the product that they're about to buy so of course that's a plus in the end and sometimes you might not, might not be able to find images um, that are a thousand by a thousand that is okay go on outsourcing websites like Fiverr and have someone do it for you um, there's tons of people out there that know how to you know make a picture zoomable uh, and you know maybe uh, tweak it in any uh, way that they can in order for it to look better so after after that you get all your images and everything all you have to do is click on save and finish alright so one last thing I forgot to mention guys is that um, once you actually uh, create your listing and everything, uh, you can actually go over to advanced view and that'll pull up all these different boxes here where you actually go out and fill out the weight, the dimensions of your product and um, all these other things. So if you want to find out, you know, the estimated fees that your uh, you know, product is going to be going for, uh, what you guys actually fill out is the, um, I believe, let me see. What you guys actually fill out is the item dimensions here and the um, the actual weight in the sh like the shipping weight or the package weight. Um, once you guys fill that out, uh, there will actually be a fee estimate that will show up on your account. Um, you can either do this method or actually use the FBA fee calculator. Um, all you have to do is type that up on Google. You'll be able to find that, and then you enter. You basically enter in the same information that you would enter on here. So. Um, I have to do is go back here and I'll show you guys where exactly the fees show up and they'll actually show up here on the side and um, yeah they'll show you an estimate of the fees so they'll be showing you know five dollars seventy one cents or you know seven dollars and nine cents it just really depends on your item dimensions and the actual weight so yeah that's just all i wanted to mention i forgot to mention that previously but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace